all, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I got a text message, yes. And, um, it seems that some sheriffs, uh, of the United States, yeah, they don't really have to enforce child abduction and child exploitation laws. Mm -hmm. Then there are special agents of the Office of Inspector General. Yeah. They don't have to enforce the law either. Now, I sent approximately 3,000 emails that I wanted my sons in a wanted phone call. Yeah. I wanted that this morning, but no one really called me. It seems that the federal employees... They don't really think that they could be sued for their knowledge of child abduction, mm. child exploitation, yeah, child maltreatment, mm -hmm. and kidnapping. Now, I asked law enforcement, yes, to read this from the newspaper article that my two, my sons are two grades behind where they should be. Mm -hmm. Now, I explained that this actual article that appeared in the Peninsula Daily News, Zach is a sophomore. Mm -hmm. uh, Beatheart said, yes. Now, uh, Zach the sophomore, Bishop the freshman, and 8th grader Deacon. Yeah. And then, I gave their actual birth dates. Zachary is a sophomore. Oh, it's going to be 17 in three days from now. Yes. It seems that no one understands that when when children, you know, are two grades behind where they should be, and it's not because they're idiots. Yes. It's because they've been in the wrong grade for seven and a half years. Uh huh. That I should have gotten a phone call. Now, somebody text messaged me. Yeah. Could you give me the text messages? Of every person in law enforcement, every employee of every inspector general, of every federal agency of the United States of America. Now, whomever the fucking asshole is that says, please take me off your list. Mm -hmm. This is an actual article from the local newspaper known as the Peninsula Daily News. It says so right here. Yeah. If you make it bigger, it says Peninsula Daily News. Yes. You can get a copy of the newspaper. Now, I'm informing law enforcement that Zachary, the sophomore, yes, should be a senior. Oops. He should be graduating from high school in June of this year. Yeah. At approximately 17 and a half years old. Now, what idiot fucker right now? thinks that any federal employee of the United States of America cannot be personally held liable for the maltreatment of children because of the issuance of fraudulent court orders. This is a screen print of the Peninsula Daily News. Yeah. This is, yeah, mm hmm mm hmm uh, just looking at it, okay, all right, uh-huh, on um, December 26, uh, 2018, mm -hmm. I made a screen print, now, it's been, uh, approximately three weeks, yes, and for three weeks, the sheriffs and the police departments have acted the total idiots, and then there's some dickhead, yes, that seems to think that as a father and an American citizen, I'm not delusional or incompetent for realizing that my sons are in the wrong grade. Now, any person that happens to receive an email that responds, please take me off your list. Yeah, you're going to go to prison. <laughs> you're going to go to prison. I didn't make this up. I said I wanted a phone call from my sons. Mm -hmm. Now, I gave you, yes, a screen print poop, mm -hmm, of their actual birthdays and their social security numbers. Oh, mm -hmm. now I did this screen print uh, over here. 
almost the exact same day. Look at that, December 26th of 2018. Now, I am not emailing a list of individuals that have it within the confines of the law to say, don't email me. Special Agent Office of the Inspector General. Your actual job description mm -hmm. as an employee of the Inspector General's office is to identify fraud, waste, and crime. Oh. Now, you have the title of Special Agent? Yes, because you're an agent of the federal government. That means that you have law enforcement capability. Now, you may never have thought about this. Yeah. But you can't call yourself an agent. Yes. Of any department or agency of the United States federal government without having law enforcement availability. <laughs> now, if you don't want to enforce the law, special agent. Yes. I asked law enforcement, known as special agents, yes, to contact Child Protective Services. So why don't you pick up the fucking phone right now? Give me the text messages of all of those that are federal or state employees that do have it within the job description. Yes. The availability. <laughs>